Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 21st of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very curious about the future of the Star Wars franchise and this new Star Wars universe that is going to be pretty much led by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that if we look at the sequel trilogy, a lot of fans have had issues with The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, especially more so over than that of The Force Awakens. At the time, back in 2015, The Force Awakens really gave us a open door to possibilities of what the sequel trilogy was going to be like in its entirety. Now, obviously, a lot of fans have had issues with Episodes 8 and 9, and exactly how Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams really handled the rest of this trilogy. Now, when we look at ahead of the future here, all right, everything related to the new Star Wars universe really is going to be a very important ride by Disney, because this is really going to really define exactly the overall tone of Star Wars after, of course, Episode 9 and everything related to what's going to be unveiled throughout this entire decade. I'm honestly very excited for this post-Episode 9 era that is currently being developed. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing, of course, all has to do with Disney and Lucasfilm's plan to really establish these major retcons that are coming into play here that's going to change our view of past Star Wars movies within the Skywalker saga. Now, on top of all of this, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films, as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now, it's explained that currently one of the major plans by Disney and Lucasfilm is to reunite the fans around the world, for those who are very upset with how the sequel trilogy was handled. Now, it's explained that one of the major changes coming to Star Wars has to do with a series of retcons that will be established into The Rise of Skywalker by creators like Dave Filoni, Jon Favreau, and even creator George Lucas, where it's noted that as of right now, both Bob Iger and Chapek are working together as a team to evolve the Star Wars brand and that George Lucas has been hired to make major tweaks to the new Star Wars universe. Now, it's noted that the story of Rey's father and the general concept of Rey's father will be retconned by George Lucas and that he is now beginning to restart aspects of his story that will be unveiled sometime next year in 2021. This plan by Disney and Lucasfilm is to create a more in-depth story for Rey's father and that a majority of it will be reset. Through Rey's father, of course, this will actually be considered the son of Palpatine still. How he became the son of Palpatine will also be reset in this new Star Wars universe that will be led by Lucasfilm. Now, this is said to connect to the retcons for the concept of Rey Skywalker and more that will completely change the fans' view of the sequel trilogy movies and how it will be handled in the near future. Not just that, but also the post-Episode 9 era will also bring a return of Emperor Palpatine in the form of a spirit as well as new truths of Rey's mother and father that will essentially reset their story for this new expanded universe that will reshape the Star Wars brand of everything that comes after Episode 9 and beyond. This is described to be an attempt to really restart the story of Rey Skywalker and her father in the new universe that is going to bring the Star Wars brand in a more in-depth direction for these characters. So, the thing about George Lucas having a big involvement with the reset or the retcons, if you will, related to Rey's father, this is big. Now, obviously, a lot of fans were very much, I guess you could say, confused about the concept of Rey's, uh, Rey's father, which is Palpatine's son. The thing that really does intrigue me about this is how it's going to be a different story. It's going to be reset in the current canon as of right now. Rey's father, also known as Palpatine's son, is actually not an, a real son like how you think he is. Palpatine's son is really just a clone of Palpatine. And through different genetics and DNA, they were able to make him Palpatine's son by definition. So what they're doing now is they're resetting a lot of that. And they're going to be showing us a more direct way of how basically Rey's father is indeed Palpatine's son in this new expanded universe. Now, also on top of this, the fact that George is going to be leading these key creative choices of this new EU, I think it really does give me faith. It really does give me a lot of hope in how things are really going to be used for the Star Wars universe moving forward and how the fans are really going to react to it all. All depends on how well the writing is going to be, right? How, how I guess you could say, different it's going to be in comparison to how Disney handled it during the sequel trilogy movies, right? So this new universe, you know, it's going to be a mixture of books, novels, comics, video games, 
animated TV series that's going to be based in the post-Episode 9 era and more to come that's really going to restart aspects of Ray's father. Now, Ray's father, I think that we really could have learned more about him. You know, we do know that Kylo Ren kind of just gave us little brief examples of his backstory, of how he was the son of the Emperor, of how Palpatine, in the novelization, really disliked his son because he wasn't really Force-sensitive per se, it wasn't all that powerful to the ways of the Force, and that's one of the main reasons why he just wanted him to get killed. He only used him as the sole purpose to actually have a child with somebody, and that of course being Rey. So, that was indeed his daughter at the point in time. So with that being said guys, you know, drop a comment below, let me know think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.